Hey, Moondog here. I recently tested and reviewed the Lyman Digital Trigger Pull Gauge, and I'll include a link to that uh, review uh, right now on the, and in the video description. But I got an interesting and odd result is when I was testing it on my Ruger Precision Rimfire, I got a slightly different number on the trigger pull uh, when I gave it a very, very slow and gradual pull on the trigger it came up to a slightly higher trigger pull than when I gave it a sort of normal, not jerky, but normal tug. Maybe just only four ounces, so you know, a quarter of a pound. Now, I couldn't certainly tell a difference when I was pulling, when I'm pulling on trigger. I can't tell the difference between a four, uh, four ounce difference and a trigger pull, uh, but the Lyman was saying that there was a four ounce difference. So it got me wondering, is that an inconsistency in the trigger of the Ruger, or is it an inconsistency potentially in what Lyman claims to be the most accurate trigger pull gauge on the market? So let, I thought let's it's worth testing this out. So I figured let's test that out on again on my Ruger and also test it on another trigger, uh, a Timony four pound drop in trigger on my AR and see if it also would record uh, consistent or inconsistent numbers on my Lyman. And we'll see is the Lyman lying. All right, before we begin our testing, let's just make sure that we check the safety condition of our firearms here. Let me remove our chamber flags from the Ruger here and my AR, so we know that the chambers are empty and we're just manually feel inside of our magwell, no magazines in there, and we visually can see that there's no magazines in there and there's nothing looking in the chamber no rounds in there. So we know the, both of these are unloaded and safe to handle. And we always practice safe firearms handling here on this channel. Let's just check out the trigger again on this Ruger Precision Rimfire. Now, as we saw in our previous video, I haven't seen that video, uh, I'll include a link in the uh, uh, video description here, but uh, we saw that there was just a bit of inconsistency with how uh, the trigger pull was being uh, measured here, depending on how quickly I pulled the trigger. So I'm gonna just go very super slow first. We're gonna be counted out one, two, we can see there and the numbers, very, very slowly, slowly. Okay, it broke just at two pounds um, and 0.7 ounces and let's just do Another trigger pull, another slow one, just to see what that's displaying. Again, very, very slowly creeping up on that two pound. Two pounds, 1.1 ounces. Now, if I pull a little more rapidly, not jerky, but just more rapidly, let me just reset that. and not creep up on it so much. One pound, 14 ounces. Now that isn't a huge difference, but that is a difference. So let's just try that again with a uh, relatively normal, I would say this is a normal trigger pull, pull because most people don't really creep up on their triggers that much. One pound, again, 14 ounces. So that at least that was consistent. So as far as this trigger goes, it is actually lighter when you don't uh, creep up on the trigger. It's heavier when you creep up on the trigger. But, so is that an inconsistency in our measuring device or is that an inconsistency in the trigger? Well, um, unless you have multiple measuring devices, the other way we could tell is by comparing it against another trigger. So we have uh, my AR here, which has a Timony four pound trigger. It's a two stage, but it is a four pound trigger. So let's see if this Timony trigger is four pounds as it advertises. So let's get this ready. And we're just gonna do a slow, gradual creep towards four pounds. Again, slow and gradual for the first two measurements. All right, four pounds, 6.6 .6 ounces. Okay, so let's try another one.
And again, another gradual pull. Four pounds, 12 ounces. So that's almost five pounds there. So let's just see if we get a different reading if we give it a more normal trigger pull. Four pounds, two ounces, okay. Three pounds, interesting. Okay, let's try that again. Four pounds, seven ounces. And one more time. Third time's a charm. Or actually, this is the fourth time. Three pounds, five ounces. And the truth shall set you free! So, this seems to indicate that our Lyman might actually give you slightly different readings depending on how, how uh, slowly you pulled on it versus uh, is there any consistency on the triggers. One other way to check, of course, is again using our reference weight here. So is there a difference between how quickly we lift this? So let's find out. I'm going to lift this and see if we get a different reading. Let me just hook it onto our trigger gauge here and I'm just going to give this a quick pull up and down. We're getting 14.5 ounces. Now I'm not gonna pull very hard or jerky because you're, we're getting, then we're starting to measure acceleration. So that was 12 pounds, or 12 ounces, I should say, 12 ounces. Again, 12 ounces versus, let's go really super slow. And gentle, 13. Super gentle, 14. So let's try that one more time. That's, that is an interesting result. Quick, 11. So this seems to actually indicate that the Lyman is potentially inconsistent. That if you give it a quicker tug on, on your arm here, it actually will measure um, less of a pound, less poundage. That is an interesting result here. Now, I could be totally wrong here. I mean, those of you who own a Lyman, um, let me know from your personal experience. Does the uh, the amount of pressure you put on uh, your uh, your device on your on your Lyman change your results, or is it that uh, tr these triggers are inconsistent? It has to be one of the two. Let me know in the comments. This is actually kind of fascinating and a uh, bit of a quandary. So. Anyway, if uh, you happen to know, leave me a comment, and if uh, you got something out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It uh, encourages me to make more videos like this, and it helps you out because you're telling the algorithm the kind of content that you like to watch that you find interesting, and it'll recommend more content like this as opposed to, I don't know, K-pop videos. But uh, if you also take control of the algorithm, you are recommending this video to other folks just like you. So, you know, win-win. Anyway, thanks again for watching. You stay safe. Moondog, out. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, please share it on forums, Facebook, Reddit, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, MeWe, whatever social media you're on. And if you want to see all of my videos, check out MoondogIndustries.com.